Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing, doing um, what's it called, a book review. Um, so this book is pretty much a very famous book. It's had many versions. Um, this is the fourth edition I believe. Yeah, it says on the front. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, very, very good book. So this is um, Introduction to Electrodynamics by um, David um, J. Griffiths. Don't know what the J stands for, but I got this probably a couple weeks ago. It has been such a privilege owning this book because well, for starters, it's very clean, and, well, when I first opened up the page and saw that, I was like, damn, this is definitely a very advanced book, but the reason why I like this book so much is because it's very clear and very clean with their explanation, so, for starters, you get all this stuff built into pretty much the book where it's got pretty much your stuff with vector calculus, so this is just some prerequisites prerequisite stuff you should know because this is a quite an advanced physics topic um electrodynamics basically goes over the details of maxwell's equations and applications of that so for example um if we go to where is it here uses a couple of maxwell's equations for applications of like real world stuff it's just a very awesome book to have and it's very clean so for example if we go to let's go it pretty much explains most of it very easily. So if I zoom in, I think it does that. It does it in a very better way than most textbooks done. Like most of it, this would be just mostly like big paragraphs and stuff. But I like how they use a lot of like examples here. Like what is the line integral here? They've got little basic questions and little examples um, throughout the thing. Um, if we go to, let's go... And I like their drawings as well. They illustrate um, a lot of the stuff here. So, for example, this would be a good representation of a line integral, which is fantastic, like, if you haven't seen that stuff before. Like, it does basic examples on line and surface integrals, which is fantastic, like, if you're first starting out vector calculus and you want to use this as an application. Um, but let's go over pretty much the contents of the book. So, when you first open up the book, you pretty much get this here, where you've got all your stuff for gradients, divergence, all that. Um, it's got some stuff for... Um, derivatives um this could have been done a little bit better but that's okay um at the back also has some stuff as well so for example at the back it's got maxwell's equations only has them in differential form doesn't have them in integral form but that's okay um over here it's got your con um constant so you've got the permittivity of space and permeability of free space and then it's got stuff for spherical coordinates which i actually think is really cool because not a lot of books actually have that a lot of books do have this stuff at the start but they don't really have this stuff at the back, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, very good book, even with just the formulas and stuff in here. Um, but let's get straight to the table of contents. So majority of this book is on electrodynamics, but it actually touches a little bit on general relativity as well. So yeah, very nice book, Cambridge University, very fancy. All right, so pretty much starts off with just basic vector calculus. So if I zoom in, there you go. So it's chapter one, vector calculus, vector algebra all the vector operations, um, products, um, com um, component forms. Then it pretty much goes on application of it. Because this is a physics book, it's going to introduce vectors straight away with just the mathematics. But you need to put it into pretty much um, application because this is a physics book. So it's going straight into position, displacement. Because um, with vector calculus, if you have position to differentiate with respect to time, you get um, displacement, uh, not displacement, velocity etc and you go and stuff like that so pretty much here it pretty much defines all right what's the difference between position and displacement and all that stuff there here it starts getting to a bit of advanced vector calculus like your divergence and curl um you use a lot of that with fluids um another um clear one is one of maxwell's equations where pretty much the divergence of a magnetic field is zero because it's not coming out of a specific point but it's oscillating around so that's why they cover pretty much this stuff here um, gradients, second derivatives, and then it goes into pretty much um, integrals, so your line surface integrals, fundamental theorem of calculus, um, I don't think it goes over Green's theorem, no it doesn't, not from what I've seen there, goes into a little bit of um, spherical coordinates, then it goes it's pretty advanced pretty quickly with the, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, um, Dirac or Dirac or whatever his name is, very advanced stuff straight away right after spherical coordinates, so that's majority of chapter one introduction into the mathematics really it doesn't really go over a lot of applications straight away like you've got the occasional one here where it's like our position and stuff a lot of it's just math straight away because you need a lot of math for um maxwell's equations at the start okay so if we go over to here chapter two if i zoom out 
gets into it pretty much with electrostatics. So pretty much, all right, what's an electric field? Introduction, Coulomb's law, electric field, continuous charge distributions. Then it uses the stuff you use in chapter one. So divergence and curl, which you learn, uh, where is it? Here, for electrostatics. So then it starts introducing um, pretty much Maxwell's equations. Um, so divergence and curl of electrostatic fields. Um, field lines, flux, um, um, Gauss's law, divergence of E with is for an electric field. Um, introduction to electric potential, comments on potential. Um, oh, I can never pronounce that guy's name, so I'm not even gonna. Laplace's equation. Um, it goes over a lot of stuff here. So all this starts doing applications of electrostatics with the stuff you learn in chapter one, which is fantastic. Um, does a bit of the same here with um, chapter three goes into a bit more on Laplace's um, equation. So for example, one dimensions, three dimensions, two dimensions, all that stuff there. Boundary conditions and stuff like that. It does a little bit of um, partial differential equations, but not too much. Then it pretty much goes into here the chemistry in chapter four, which is actually quite cool. So let's zoom in. So I like it how it goes over pretty much um, alignment of polar molecules. So if I go to, what's that, page 178, I think they got some good diagrams on that stuff which is fantastic so it actually shows you the actual well a representation of the molecules like the geometry of some of it so for example um h2o and um their bonds there um but what it's actually talking about is pretty much all right if you've got since this is kind of um delta positive because the um oxygen is taking the electrons more here this is going to be slightly positive and that's slightly negative so it pretty much goes over the charge of that molecule and how it's pretty much set up in terms of a mathematical thing um but it is very good so they use what else do they use they kind of use carbon stuff over here but they don't mention it too much most of they use water as their examples here so this is where where they're talking about electric fields and matter so that's pretty much just your chemistry stuff really um what else does it show any more cool diagrams i think it does if i go to no, no, no. That's about it for that one. Bound charges. Dipole. Where is it? Can't see any more molecule ones, but you pretty much get the picture where it pretty much takes oh, like real life materials and applies the equations there. Um, let's go back to the table of contents now. Right, uh, Metrostatics. Oh, I've still got to learn this stuff here. So I haven't actually touched that section of the book yet, but that does look quite interesting. Um, what else? Magnetic fields and matter is chapter six mostly. Um, electrodynamics, um, a lot of it's there. So that's like your EMF and stuff like that. I believe it covers Lenz's law and Faraday's law somewhere. Yeah, Faraday's law um, and Lenz's law would be in there somewhere. Now, what the cool thing is I didn't know about this book is towards the back, it actually covers electrodynamics with relativity, so general relativity. So if we go to the back of the book, which is I was actually quite surprised about, it has a little section on time dilation and all that stuff at the back. So where is it? Um, we're in here. I want to go to the start though. Radiation that so as you can see this is actually a very advanced book so I wouldn't do this unless you've got pretty good mathematics but here this is the coolest part I found of the book electrodynamics with relativity so it pretty much goes over all right general relativity Einstein's postulates about speed of light being constant in the frame of reference then it goes pretty much to all right what are the applications of that with electricity and stuff so it goes over the general stuff here a lot of paragraphs at the start but I do like, where is it? Where is the diagram? Not there, not there. Basic stuff. Clocks moving sign. Barnyard. Does it cover the barnyard? Oh, fantastic. A lot of this stuff is um, basic stuff on general relativity. I don't think it goes too much into the tenses. Unless it does here. Maybe. Ooh, who knows? Anyway, let's go there. I love how it includes diagrams like this, which is fantastic for kind of visualization, but helps you understand the topics a bit more. 
Um, what else? Kinematics. What is the electric stuff? Photoelectric effect. That's sick. What else? Here. I like stuff like this, how they include pictures like this. Because most books don't really have stuff like this. All they have is... Oh, there we go. All they have is pretty much math. They don't visualize the math. Like, all right, change in theta, dp, p, p plus dp. Stuff like that. So this is... um. Yeah, circular motion. So what it's including is showing your momentum vector, your rate of change in momentum, and um, your change in angle. So it pretty much accounts for all that stuff there, which is fantastic because most books will just include, all right, here's this bit here, but it doesn't show this stuff here, which is fantastic. And it does that throughout the entire book from what you can see when I skim through all of it. Um, plates does a little bit of tenses with general relativity, but the majority of this book is electrodynamics. Um, so if I go back to the start, yeah, I love how they include stuff like this. Um, Laplace's equation in three dimensions. Well, let me zoom in. Oh, that's not working. There we go. So stuff like this. So it gives you the equation and it shows you how it can be visualized there. Um, does a little bit of the proof, but not really because this is more of a physics book than a math book. What else? If we go back to the table of contents, that, that, that. Magnetic fields matter, electrodynamics, conservative law, so that's like your energy and stuff. Um, yep. Does a little bit of Maxwell's strength, um, stress tensor, but it actually doesn't do, do it a lot from what I've read previously. Um, electromagnetic waves, potentials and fields. Really, really good book. High recommendation. Um, does a bit of radiation, um, but not a lot. It's not as big of a section in this book as like your other sections here. And then it does a little bit on um, relativity and stuff. Um, at the back, that's pretty much like your appendix where it's like, all right, what's the notation actually mean? So where it has vector calculus. So that's like kind of explaining what this stuff here means. So the notation here like that. Um, but yeah, very good book. High rate recommendation for anyone doing advanced physics or even math if you want to use um, a vector calculus in an application situation very good book high recommendation um, yep so electrodynamics um, introduction by David J Griffiths um, fourth edition is pretty good but any other previous edition is pretty good from what I've seen um, it just might not have some of the new stuff or any updated stuff um, yeah hopefully you get this book and that's my review on this book so far